A PAL-based company called GT Aeronautics is using a revolutionary technology to spot noxious weeds in the area. These weeds are harmful to the wildlife here, and that's why the owner says it'll have a major impact on the area. We're trying to protect everybody's backyard, which is our public lands. For many of us, weed control means maintaining our own property. It's not like protecting your backyard. But for Mary McKinney and her weed and pest control team, their backyard bumps up against some of the most pristine land in the country, Yellowstone National Park. As you look behind me, you see tens of thousands of acres that borders millions of acres of public land. That's what we are trying to protect here in the valley. Their biggest enemy, a noxious weed called leafy spurge. That's what I'm holding in my hand. It is especially toxic to wildlife and domestic animals. Typically, they rely on spotting these weeds by hiking the area or going out on horseback. A time-consuming process, but one that could soon be sped up through the skies. If we can spot it from the air and locate it, geolocate it, we can just give them the lot long of it. It's, hey, we see it right here. We see it right here. Former Navy pilot Tom Rollman has been working since 2016 on building a drone to help spot these weeds. Sometimes these, uh, this uh, leafy spurge is in kind of big fields, so you see a large growth of it. That's really what they're trying to kill. Uh, you want to get these little tiny spots too, but ideally they want to take out the big stuff. Being able to survey vast acreages like you see behind me with the equipment that's available from Tom and his company, that's definitely going to allow us a better resource and a better use of our time. Rollman says that they still need some adjustments to the motor and camera. As you can see, the image isn't perfectly clear, but that they are getting close and are aiming to take off next spring. Well, for me, uh, designing the right aircraft, putting it all together, uh, it takes obviously years to do all that, to see it culminate, uh, that's an awesome feeling. In Park County, Charlie Kleps, MTN News.